Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you another update. Um, this is the cab of the 1950 Ford F47. Uh, in our previous video we were talking about um, all the fabrication that we were doing uh, with the cowl and we showed you the new pieces that were done. Um, in the latest video uh, we did not have the windshield frame uh, repaired. So I'd like to share that with you and then we've done some epoxy and we're ready to do some more. So. In our last video, we shared with you where we had this patch panel made, and it was just kind of resting on here. You recall in the other video, we had the truck cab sitting on its back. Um, so what we've done since then is we've cut out all of that rotten steel that was in there, and all of the body filler that was hiding all the rust through holes, and then we welded in our new piece, and we used the um, exact factory spot weld locations that the factory did back in 1950. And then we ground all the welds smooth. And then the same thing on this passenger side. Um, it's a little bit larger patch because it was worse on this section. So we're all the way up into here and we cut through to over here. And then you can barely see it, but we've got all of our uh, same spot welds that the factory did. And then we've ground that and cleaned that all smooth. So. You'll notice that we've got a couple of different uh, shades going on. This is our bare steel from where we media blasted before. And then you can see this shiny black. This is three coats of a two-part epoxy. So that's what we're going to continue to do on the rest of the cab. So I just didn't do this section here um, below the windshield because we had to do the, the welding fabrication today. Um, so yesterday when it was on its back, I applied three coats of a black two-part epoxy to the complete underside of the floor, the firewall, and this front section of the cowl. I did most of the roof and then the rocker panels on both sides. So lots of progress um, on this F47. So we'll just kind of move it over here a little bit. So uh, what I'll be doing next, we have it all cleaned out, is I'm going to apply this two-part black epoxy to the rest of the exposed metal. Um, and then once that's done and cured, um, then it'll be ready for its first coat of the gray high build primer. Um, so that's the cab of the, the Ford um, F47. And then we've been doing lots of work on the doors. Um, in an earlier video, we shared with you where we had all the metal stripped down. Uh, we were ready to do the black epoxy. So since then, there's been lots of progress. We've applied the same black two-part epoxy to both inside and outside the doors. Um, and once it cured, we applied the gray high build primer and then we began to block sand uh, both doors out and then you can see uh, the different colors here is body smoother because there was a lot of imperfections and dents and waves in the doors. Um, so we've been working on that and then what happens is we block sand it all out at 120 grit paper. We get it quite close to smoothness. We apply a second coat of gray high build primer block all of that out and more smoother and that's at 180 grit. So now we'll be, um, I'll just kind of roll this over because this is the, uh, the driver's side door and then here's our passenger side door. Just kind of swing it around here. Um, so you can see there's some different uh, sections or areas. The passenger door for some reason had a lot more damage uh, to it than the driver's side door. I'm not really sure why. Um, but there's lots of previous uh, repairs done to this door and not done correctly. So we did a lot of hammer and dollying um, to get the metal as straight as we could before we started to apply uh, the smoother in these locations. So um, what we'll be doing with these doors next is we'll be applying um, about three more coats of this gray high build primer and then we'll block both doors again at 180 grit and then hope we're getting really close with the uh, uh, with the body smoothness. And then the last thing to share with you is the hood. Um, once again for the 50F47. So um, this hood when we picked it up at the other um, facility um, it had almost like a stucco kind of product on top which I think was just years of overspray that had collected on it and it was very very pebbly and thick. Um, so what we had to do is we, we stripped uh, the complete hood down to bare metal and you can see um, it's all bare metal now. We've wiped it down. Um, we'll share with you another video. The bottom side, the bottom side of the hood, um, we've already epoxied. So uh, we'll share with you in a, in a video upcoming after we have this epoxy tonight. Um, 
we'll share with you the underside. So it has three coats of a two-part epoxy, the black epoxy. So the bottom of the hood is sealed. And then this evening, um, I'll be giving another three coats to the outside. So now this bare metal will be sealed and then it will be ready for the next step, which will be the gray uh, high build primer. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from lastchanceautorestore.com.